Welcome, guys, today to uh, an Occulty Productions presentation of the PMSL Five Guys Virgin of Fries Cup Series. Today, we are at da Daytona International Speedway for the Pepsi 400, the summer nighttime race event for the 17th race of the season. Um, after last week's road course, where Nick Newman came out on top and Daniel Day closed in on points leader Jake Austin, and is now making this a very interesting points battle. Um, let's get started on the starting lineup. So, starting in last place is Ryan Lee, Logan Faulkner, Eric Burton, Hayden Ashley, Lizzie Payton, Zachary Cannon, Dom Caps, Veronica Payton, David Burton, Emily Lowe, Daniel Day, who's going to have to come from the back today, uh, Andrew Slayer, who's uh, third in points, Dustin Caps, Oge Allman, last week's winner, Nick Nealman. Kevin Aldrich, Freddie Bedford, Jake Austin, our points leader, Brady Smee, Max Murphy, Theo Stiegel, Adam Derrickson, Jace Firestone, Ben Cannon, Cody White, Kyle Austin, Katrina Payton, Cameron Miller, Charles Sanford, Austin Town, Rick Tyard, Mark Ballard, Drew Austin, Carly Paris, Nick Caps, Eric Henderson, Dylan Longman, Aaron Barker, Austin Ogo. Starting on the outside of the front row is Joseph Call, and on the pole is Michael Hegdahl. So anyway, we'll be back when we're getting ready to go green flag racing here at Daytona International Speedway, and we'll be back. Coming down to the green flag here at the Pepsi 400 at Daytona International Speedway, Michael Hegdahl on the pole. Yeah, but the pace car's getting ready to pull off, and we are... Green. Okay. But, uh, Pepsi 400 here. Jake Austin falling back. It looks like Jake. No, that's not Jake Austin. Yeah, it is. That is Jake Austin. Michael Hegdahl has the lead. Derek Henderson getting up in the wall. We already have plate racing here. Oh, Cameron Miller and Rick Tyard save it. Look at Brady Smee and Theo Stiegel off the track. It sounds like somebody just did Facebook. Uh, Logan. Oh. It's like Lizzie Payton and Eric Burton, Ryan Lee. They are wrecking a major accident. Looks like the game's lagging. Drew Austin's in the pits. Whoa! Points leader Jake Austin. Huge accident here. Kevin Aldrich is flipping. Adam Derrickson. Huge accident here. Dave Burton. Jake Austin's in the pits. He's probably going to lose that point lead, but Aaron Barker is in the lead position. Dylan Longman second, Nick Caps third, Mark Ballard, Carly Paris, Michael Hegdahl has fallen back from the pole, Joseph Call. These are the cars that are still running. Daniel Day has moved up a whole bunch of positions, so he may take the point lead today if he doesn't get caught up in any other accidents. We have Austin Ogo, Cameron Miller, Adam Derrickson. These guys are all still running, but they're probably going to pit. Charles Sanford, after starting so highly in the field, is probably going to retire. Lizzie Payton, who I saw getting that original accident, was all these guys. So I imagine some of them have retired already. Uh, and no one's retired. Yet, so um, we we only we're only racing for 16 laps, but it's a plate track, so it'll take long, longer, or what it, whatever you like to call it. Looks like Dom Caps is the first to retire. Looks like Eric Burton, Dom Caps, Theo Siegel, Charles Sanford, and Adam Derrickson have all retired so far. Add Dustin Caps to that list uh, with a header. Looks 
looks like David Burton is going to retire for his ignition. Um, let's see if anyone retires next. It looks like Rick Tyre is going to retire for his piston. Charles Sanford retired. Dew Stiegel, Rick Tyre. Kevin Aldrich, Max Murphy, and Jake Austin are all one lap down, and I can see them retiring here soon. Or maybe they won't. It's... Hmm, I don't know. Uh, but Kevin Aldrich, David Burt... Kevin Aldrich, Jake Austin, and Max Murphy have all retired. Jake Austin, that's going to be a heavy hit for him in the points. As um, Andrew Slayer and uh, Daniel Day are still running in the race. Um, but anyway, we'll be back when we're getting ready to go green flag. We're going back under the green flag here with Aaron Barkett in the lead and uh, Dylan Longman in second. Looks like Aaron Barker's going to have the lead right now. But Dylan Longman's coming high on the outside lane, but Aaron Barker's going to have the support with Nick Caps in that inside lane. A second group of cars back here is forming with Cody White, Austin Ogo. Daniel Day is going to try to move up through the field. Looks like he's going to pass for those positions he has no support but he's going to probably get them because um, he's on the inside lane and they have dominance oh look out right there Jace Firestone and uh, we'll get Allman oh we're going four wide here no not four wide but we're going three wide that's not a good thing to do And that inside lane is coming forward. Daniel Day. Look out here, Austin Ogo, Cameron Miller. Austin Ogo's coming in that inside lane. Oh, Dylan Longman. Cody White and Dylan Longman Rex up here. Daniel Day. Whoa, Daniel Day gets hit for no reason. Dang it, what the heck? Okay. Daniel Day has fallen back in positions after that wreck, and it looks like Carly Paris is now our leader. Kyle Austin here. Aaron Barker is falling back. Um, Carly Paris is going to be our leader. And... Second, Kyle Austin, Emily Lowe third, Katrina Payton fourth, Austin Town fifth, Aaron Barker sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, Cody White fifteenth after getting caught up in that, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, he was um, one of the wreckers in that race, Nick Neilman who won last week, Derek Henderson, Brady Smee, Cameron Miller, Michael Hegdahl, Jay Starstone, Austin Ogo, Andrew Slayer, Veronica Payton, and in the last car in the lead lap, Daniel Day in 30th position. Last car running, I believe, too. Uh, let's see if any drivers retired from that accident, and no, none of them did. So. Um, but anyway, we'll be, ba we'll be back when we're under green flag racing. We're back under the green flag here, and Austin Ogo has retired as well. Carly Paris is in the lead. But we have drivers taking the low lane. Daniel Day in the back trying to gain positions. Two two of our points leaders, Andrew Slayer and Daniel Day right here. Daniel Day maybe not be gaining much position ground, but he's gonna that's gonna be an intraregal part of the movement. Ryan Lee coming here to the front. He started in last position if you remember. Right now, Carly Paris is in the lead, and Emily Lowe as well. Those two battled each other for a win, and Emily Lowe got, came out on top. Katrina Payton, who won two straight poles back to back. Ben Cannon coming down in that inside lane. With Carly Paris still in the lead. In the lead this lap is Carly Paris, owning the front of the field.
her scraping the wall back here. But anyway, Ben Cannon's coming in that inside lane. Carly Paris is falling back. We don't know who's going to win here. We're under the caution flag, so whoever leads this lap is going to be the winner. We won't have time for green-white checkered. So it's a race between Katrina Payton and Emily Lowe for this lead position. But Logan Faulkner looks like he is out. Ever leads this flag here. It's battling between Katrina Payton and Emily Lowe unless Ben Cannon makes a move. Looks like Katrina Payton's going to get the win here in that number 10 GoDaddy.com Chevrolet for Stuart Haas Racing. is going to get the win for the Pepsi 400 here at Daytona. Emily Lowe's going to get second, third, Ben Cannon, Kyle Austin, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, Aaron Barker, ninth, who led a majority of the race, tenth, um, twelfth. Whoa, Aaron Barker's going to pull off here for some reason. Unknown. So he may not actually finish where he is. Daniel Day is going to come out with the hard earned top 15 finish, and he. He's probably going to take the points lead, or he may not because of where he finished. Um, but Katrina Payton's going to come out on top. Uh, looks like uh, Ryan Lee and Michael Hegdahl, pool sitter, retired. Dylan Longman, retired. Brady Smee, overheated. Mark Ballard had a clutch problem. Drew Austin retired. Cameron Miller retired. Is Aaron Barker going to retire or not? Logan Faulkner retired. Veronica Payton, Logan Faulkner, Nick Neilman, Oga Allman, Derek Henderson is the last one holding out. Derek Henderson retired. Daniel Day got 14th over Andrew Slayer. Anyway, we're coming back down, coming back to the, down to the checkered flag with where Katrina will get her first career. Five guys, Bergerson and Fry, PMSL five guys, Bergerson and Fry's Cup Series career win in the 10 car. Um, she had those two pulls, and now she has a win. Uh, Daniel Day is going to finish 14th. Uh, and be a points contender. Emily Lowe may be up there in points as well now. Uh, Jake, let's see if. And but anyway, uh, for this. Uh, uh, anyway, congratulations, to Katrina Payton. Um, hope you. I hope you enjoyed this race. Uh, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below. Follow me, Aw Three Aldi, Aw Caldi, whichever you prefer. Uh, subscribe to my backup account, the JRP Returns. And like my Facebook page. Um, this has been a presentation of Akali Productions. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.